You won't expect this. Israel's F-35 Adir has quietly created a capability gap compared to Germany's Typhoon that many people still don't fully understand. The surprising part is that the gap isn't about speed or size, it's about deeper digital advantages that reshaped modern aviation far faster than most observers predicted. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're exploring a surprising comparison between Israel's customized F-35 Adir and Germany's respected Eurofighter Typhoon. Many people expect these two platforms to sit close in overall capability, but recent evaluations show a widening difference shaped mostly by digital evolution rather than physical features. The F-35i stands out because Israel has unique permission to integrate domestic system software layers and data handling tools directly into the aircraft's core architecture. This allows the platform to shift rapidly as new technology appears. Germany's Typhoon, on the other hand, continues to rely on a multinational upgrade structure that moves steadily but naturally at a slower rhythm. The Typhoon remains powerful, precise, and highly capable, yet the global aviation environment is changing in ways that reward digital flexibility more than classic performance metrics. In this opening section, we will focus on how subtle design choices from different eras shape the foundations of both aircraft. These foundational differences have expanded over time as software, data processing, and integration ecosystems became um, central to aviation development. Understanding these routes helps explain why the current capability gap looks the way it does today and why the trend continues to grow across modern discussions. One of the most influential elements shaping the gap is digital freedom. Israel's F-35 Eider benefits from a rare modification approval that lets the country integrate its own electronic suites, security layers, and mission applications. This freedom means the aircraft is not limited to global update cycles. New tools can be added quickly, tested locally, and then refined based on real-time feedback. Germany's Typhoon has upgrades too, but the process moves through collaborative European channels requiring harmonized planning. This structure offers stability and shared responsibility, yet it slows the implementation of fast digital changes. Modern aviation increasingly depends on rapid adaptation, secure data workflows, and intelligent processing. The F-35i's architecture was designed from the beginning for deep software evolution, giving it flexibility across sensing, communication, and decision support tasks. The Typhoon's earlier design philosophy emphasized physical performance, aerodynamic strength, and traditional pilot-centered display systems. These strengths still matter, but modern environments prioritize digital clarity over raw maneuvering. Analysts who expected the gap to remain small now see its expansion driven largely by software tempo rather than mechanical design. This digital freedom continues to be one of the strongest contributors to Israel's evolving advantage within this comparison. Sensor fusion is another defining factor in the growing difference. The F-35i integrates multiple sensors into one unified information stream displayed directly to the pilot in a simplified and easy to absorb format. This reduces workload and allows faster understanding of the surrounding environment. Israel enhances this system with additional local layers, giving it even more refined insight based on domestic preferences and testing. Germany's Typhoon has strong radar optics and targeting systems, but they operate through a more traditional display structure requiring more manual interpretation. The Typhoon sensing hardware is impressive, yet the way information is merged matters greatly. Modern aviation rewards platforms that can automatically handle large amounts of data and present only the most important elements to the pilot. This shift toward intelligent automation is central to today's capability assessments. When a platform performs its own deep data fusion, the pilot gains more time and clarity. 
The surprising part for many observers is how much different sensor integration makes compared to raw speed or aerodynamic performance. Israel's enhanced approach brings even more value to the F-35i architecture while Germany continues to upgrade the Typhoon, but within the limits of its earlier design framework. This sensing contrast now shapes many comparisons. Processing power plays a quiet but significant role in shaping the observed gap. The F-35i's internal computing system uses a flexible backbone designed for frequent updates and advanced applications. Israel builds on this foundation with its domestic tech sector, adding tools that increase data throughput, improve automated analysis, and support more adaptable mission behaviors. Germany's Typhoon also features capable processors, but the architecture reflects an earlier design generation that relied more heavily on mechanical performance and pilot interpretation. The Typhoon continues to receive upgrades, but its modernization pace depends on multinational timing and long-term planning cycles. In modern digital aviation, processing speed shapes how efficiently a platform can manage complex inputs, run predictive models, and support decision-making. The F-35i's computing environment allows for layered intelligence without needing major hardware redesigns. This adaptability becomes more important each year as aviation shifts towards software-centric development. Germany maintains a strong engineering foundation, but the difference in computing strategy has allowed Israel's version of the platform to evolve more rapidly. These accumulating improvements create a noticeable performance contrast Processing strength has become one of the most essential modern aviation advantages. Even though it receives less public attention than external features, integration across supporting systems further separates the two platforms. Israel's F-35i Adir was built with seamless digital compatibility in mind, allowing it to interact smoothly with intelligence networks, ground systems, and other aviation assets. This creates an interconnected environment where information moves quickly and updates are shared instantly. Germany's Typhoon also connects with European support networks, yet the ecosystem is more distributed. This reflects differing design eras and partnership structures. The Typhoon performs well within its environment, but the unified connectivity of the F-35i stands out. The trend in aviation now favors systems that operate as part of a larger digital environment rather than isolated platforms. Israel's investment in integrated ecosystems ensures consistent awareness across its assets. Germany continues improving European connectivity, but the multi-nation structure naturally adds complexity. Observers are often surprised by how much integration influences performance. It shapes sensing efficiency, coordination timing, and overall environmental understanding. The Typhoon remains capable, but the F-35i's ecosystem synergy provides a substantial advantage that continues growing as interconnected aviation becomes the global standard. Integration is no longer optional. It is one of the driving forces behind modern capability trends. Upgrade rhythm is another important factor. Israel's F-35Y ADIR benefits from a modification agreement allowing independent adaptation. When new digital solutions appear, Israel can test, refine, and deploy them without waiting for a global update timeline. This creates rapid cycles of development. Germany's Typhoon follows a structured multinational pathway requiring alignment between partners before major changes occur. This ensures consistency across Europe, but naturally slows overall progress. Modern aviation development increasingly resembles software evolution rather than traditional mechanical upgrades. Platforms grow through frequent digital adjustments, not just large scheduled changes. The F-35i's environment supports this trend, allowing new processing tools, sensing enhancements, and communication layers to appear regularly. Germany continues improving the Typhoon through long-term planning, but the pace reflects its cooperative nature. Many analysts originally expected both aircraft to maintain closer performance profiles 
Instead, the growing emphasis on software has created a widening difference. The F3 FEVI evolves in short cycles while the Typhoon evolves in long ones. This difference in upgrade rhythm is now one of the strongest explanations for the capability gap often discussed today. Rapid digital development has reshaped how aviation systems maintain relevance across changing environments. Domestic technology ecosystems influence the comparison strongly. Israel's F-35i Adir benefits from collaboration with local tech industries specializing in artificial intelligence, secure communication, and advanced processing. This partnership allows the platform to receive tailored enhancements that suit specific needs. Germany's Typhoon benefits from strong engineering talent across Europe, but responsibilities are shared among multiple partners, creating a broader but slower innovation chain. Israel's compact ecosystem enables rapid prototyping, quicker testing loops, and faster digital adoption. Germany's structure excels in reliability and rigorous standards, yet modern aviation rewards speed and software adaptation more than traditional timelines. The difference is not about strength or quality, it is about development tempo. Israel's integration of domestic tools allows adjustments in system behavior without waiting for external approvals. Germany continues advancing its platforms, but the collaborative environment naturally progresses at a methodical pace. Over time, these timing differences accumulate into noticeable capability differences. The surprising part is how central digital ecosystems have become in shaping aviation performance. Mechanically, both aircraft are strong. Digitally, the F-35i evolves faster due to the nature of Israel's technology environment. This explains much of the unexpected separation now visible in modern comparisons. Pilot interface design also shapes the difference. The F-355i includes an advanced display system that presents fused information through simplified layouts. This helps pilots understand conditions quickly without filtering multiple screens. Israel further refines this interface with tailored preferences based on local testing and pilot feedback. Germany's Typhoon has capable displays, but the system reflects design principles from an earlier technological period. While the visuals are clear and effective, they require more interpretation because the architecture was not originally built for deep automatic fusion. Analysts often underestimate how important pilot workload is to overall performance. Modern aviation platforms succeed when they minimize cognitive strain allowing pilots to focus on key decisions. The F-35i's interface excels in this area through a design philosophy centered on intelligent automation. Germany continues enhancing the Typhoon's cockpit systems, but the foundational layout remains rooted in earlier methods. The difference does not diminish the Typhoon's quality, it simply highlights how interface strategy influences broader capability trends. Simplified visual structures bring measurable advantages in complex environments. This shift in human focused design has played a meaningful role in shaping the growing separation between the two platforms. Support models and long term sustainment also contribute to the widening performance gap. The F-35i benefits from a global support framework that delivers frequent software improvements, diagnostic updates, and predictive tools. Israel complements this with local sustainment solutions that accelerate issue resolution and testing. Germany's Typhoon uses a robust traditional sustainment model focusing on scheduled maintenance, mechanical expertise, and long planned updates. This structure works well but evolves more slowly compared to software-driven ecosystems. Modern aviation now relies heavily on continuous digital maintenance, where improvements occur through code adjustments rather than physical changes. The F-35i's environment supports regular updates that improve sensing, processing, and overall efficiency. These adjustments accumulate over time, creating noticeable performance growth even without major hardware upgrades. Germany continues refining Typhoon sustainment, yet its rhythm reflects earlier operational models. 
The surprise for many observers is how much sustainment speed affects real world readiness and capability evolution. Faster update cycles translate into more adaptable digital behavior. The Typhoon remains a respected platform, but its sustainment tempo contributes to the growing difference between the two aircraft. This pattern reflects shifting priorities in aviation development. Looking toward the future, the contrast becomes even clearer. Israel's F-35I ADIR continues gaining new digital abilities as global systems expand, sensors advance, and computing layers evolve. Its architecture is built for ongoing integration, meaning the platform naturally grows each year. Germany's Typhoon is also improving with significant upgrades planned across European programs. However, its long-term evolution relies heavily on coordinated multinational innovation cycles. This creates a difference in how quickly each platform can adapt to emerging technology. Israel benefits from rapid integration pathways that support frequent digital updates. Germany focuses on structured, carefully planned development timelines that prioritize consistency. Both approaches have strengths, but they lead to different growth speeds. Analysts now recognize that software, driven aviation evolves continuously, making rapid adaptation a key advantage. The F-35I's architecture aligns with this global shift, allowing its capabilities to expand faster. The Typhoon remains strong and relevant, yet its development model explains much of the capability separation that observers find surprising. The difference is not sudden, but the result of long-term trends in digital design, integration, support, and ecosystem cooperation. These combined factors shape the gap now visible between the two platforms. If you enjoyed this detailed breakdown, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others interested in modern aviation technology. Your support helps us bring more clear, neutral, and informative content in the future.